I can still remember the day that he called me up and said that he was going to move to Texas. And I was, I was shocked. I never thought the guy would leave Nebraska. By God's grace, I was able to convince Lauren to move out to Texas. The one thing that we do know today is that that was the best damn decision we ever made. It says love is patient. Love is kind. This is the kind of love you want to show. That's all. I could not pick a better brother to join us. You are the guy that we have prayed for and so much more. We gather here today to witness their commitment to one another, to surround them in our love and with our prayers, and to share in their abundant joy. You are here today because in one way or another you have been a part of Ethan and Lauren's lives and therefore a part of their story. He, uh, he loves his family dearly. He appreciates where he grew up from. So it is with great pleasure that I uh, have been asked and uh, I'm honored to read a letter from Glenn, Lauren's dad. It took a long time to get to this great day, but well worth the wait because of Ethan. Thank you, Alan and Crystal, for raising such a fine man. I was beginning to think he didn't exist. Please stand as you are able. Now as Lauren's father, there is nothing I could hope for more than for her to love and to be loved like she is now. So Ethan, take care of my baby girl. Lauren, I love you with all of my heart. That goes for you too, Ethan. I couldn't be happier for the two of you. So from Michelle, myself, and our family, I say congratulations, God bless, and skull to Mr. and Mrs. Ethan Smith. their lives and we ask that you would take center stage as the author of life and love and be glorified in all that is said and done.
May their love for each other never fade. May grace always be prevalent in their hearts and actions. And may they always be reminded of why they fell in love. you all the